What's up, Rap Nation? Story time. So I got bumped last year um, in 2020, and now I'm an intermediate. But I signed up as intermediate for this day because I didn't want to get stuck behind slow people. I kind of ate those words because I was slow as molasses. However, I received some instruction today that literally changed the way I think about things and changed my writing. That's what I'm going to explain to you. So stick to the end because these are pretty awesome words of advice for anyone struggling with the mental aspect of breaking down that wall and just doing the thing. Excuse the helmet here. Um, first of all, I was bumped down from intermediate to novice and I hated that. Literally, I, did, I, I didn't want to do it. I told everyone I was okay, but really I wasn't. Like, that's, just, that's just what I do. But that turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me today. The best thing that happened to me today. Yeah, that. Um, because what I needed was internal confidence. I really needed to know that I could do this and I didn't need the pressure of going fast because going fast happens naturally. Focus on being smooth. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So that really changed the game today. Hi, my name is Brittany and I suck at corner entry speed. I completely suck at going into corners and keeping my speed. And that's one thing I'm working on, but the advice that I received was just to take the turn and maintain your throttle. Now I'm at a point where that's dangerous. I don't know. Everyone probably is gonna comment. All the track day riders are gonna comment and saying this is bullshit because maintenance throttle isn't good on the track. However, it really helped me. I'm working on my corner entry speed and it's just clicking. And I'm just I'm just kind of overwhelmed because I'm in so, I'm in I'm in pain right now. Like it feels like I'm getting stabbed in the back. But the joy of riding and the joy of being at the track is so overwhelming. It's kind of numbing the fact that I'm in pain. And my number three really, really awesome advice that I received today. And it sounds really simple. And you hear people talking about ride your own ride, you know, all, all, this, all the time. I'm like that's, but what does that really mean? And to me today, it meant to ride and just do it. And it sounds so simple, but I just stopped thinking. Like I stopped overthinking and I stopped contemplating what to do and what not to do. And I stopped focusing on what the f if I, what, what if I break my back? Like that's what I think. And I'm just now getting over that. And I'm just a few weeks shy of my one year anniversary of breaking my back on Blood Mountain. And my aftermarket parts are not being friendly to me, like ever. So that's it. Um, it's really three really, really simple things, but the most simple things in life can really make the biggest difference. And I learned that today. So I'm going into day two tomorrow at Talladega Grand Prix and it's co-ed and I'm gonna be an intermediate. If I need to drop down an office, I'm okay with that because I learned today that it's sometimes the best option, the best thing to do, so you don't feel pressure. Thank you all for watching through this video. I really appreciate you and just the support that I got today at the track. If you're watching this and you supported me, oh my God, I fucking love you. I don't know, it's just overwhelming. So, please, please, please. Please be nice to each other because you never know what people are going through. And for now, ride safe.